Something strange happened after my first cruise, and it could well have put me off cruising for life. It didn't, of course, but at the time it was quite alarming. I had been on a South Pacific cruise from Sydney to New Caledonia, and the seas had been fairly rough. I found myself coping well with the motion of the ocean. No seasickness at all, and that surprised me a little. But when I got off the ship in one of the islands, I noticed something very odd, odd enough to make me wonder if I was having a stroke. The dry land was rolling and rocking under my feet. It felt like I was walking on a giant slab of rubber, which wobbled with every step I took. I knew I was on solid ground, but my body was telling me I was bobbing up and down like a yo-yo. I thought it would disappear, but in fact this sensation just got worse as the day went on. I became quite concerned. I had no idea what was happening. Of course, it vanished later, after I got back on the ship. But it reappeared whenever I disembarked, and took maybe a fortnight after the end of the cruise to fade away completely. The surprising thing was how real it felt. My mind knew I was standing in solid ground, but my body was telling me something different. What had happened was a classic case of disembargation syndrome. I know now that it's fairly common. People who cope well with the movement of a ship suddenly get strange symptoms as soon as they return to dry land. Other names are dock rock, land sickness, and mal de debarkment, although this last term is used more for long-standing cases. If it happens to you, my advice is, don't be alarmed. Think of it as an afterimage. When you look at a bright light and then look away, you will see an afterimage of a light that isn't there anymore. When your body adapts to the movements of a cruise ship and you get off, you get an afterimage of the rocking of the ship. It's also a little like that odd feeling of getting onto an escalator that isn't moving. You feel as if you've suddenly stopped dead, even though you never were really moving. Normally, it goes away with time. You will likely notice it more when you're sitting still, and less when you're walking around. It will disappear if you get back on a ship. If the sensations are bad enough to make you experience motion sickness, and that can happen, which is why it is sometimes called land sickness, you'll find that the same medications that you use for seasickness will help. If the symptoms are bad enough to make you feel seriously ill, or if they last significantly longer than the cruise itself did, you may want to see a doctor. But remember that it is unusual for it to last too long. And also remember that many doctors don't know a lot about it. And what about future cruises? Well, it may happen again. But if you're prepared, then it should not be too alarming. For what it's worth, my own subsequent experiences have never been as bad as that first cruise. I have heard that in a very few unfortunate individuals, the symptoms become almost permanent, and the only relief is to get back on a ship. Imagine being condemned to stay on a cruise ship for the rest of your life. But that must be fantastically rare. For most people, the main issue is that it's a totally unexpected and strange event, which can make them worry about their health. So, be ready for it. Don't panic, you're not having a stroke, and remember that it will probably go away after a while. It's never put me off cruising, and I've never met anyone who has been put off. It's just one of those things. <laughs>